kick it up one time. And we are back. Fly Navarro, oh. Captain Ray Rocher, r, r Tackle. We are now in the fly zone. Let's cover your bait well. It's really important here we are catching bait, we're deploying bait, but we need to keep them alive mm -hmm. for the day. Yep. Talk to me about it. Basically, it's not about volume of water for the bait fishing that we're doing. It's not like you gotta have three pumps for three wells. Right here we have three wells, two deck wells, transom well. We actually spray our water into the transom. It goes out a drain under the deck, dumps into the forward part of the forward well, bulkhead between them, drilled holes at the top, spills into the aft well and out the back of the boat. So one pump powers three, three wells. wells. That's all you need. And, and for what we're doing and the amount of bait. How, how big of a pump do you have? Uh, rule 1500. A 1500, okay. And one bait per gallon on large baits, two baits per gallon on small, like sardines, pilchers. So this well right here is how big? It's right at 50 gallons. So you can get one goggle eye per gallon. Right. 50 goggle eyes or 100. Yep. Thread fins or 100 uh, sardines? No, I would classify threads, unless they're real small, I'd classify them as large. We do 50 threads, 50 goggle eyes, probably about 40 blue runners. Okay. We, you know, size of the bait dictates the compression. And, you know, sardines, you put 50 sardines in there and they'd, they'd and nod they up like that. Ball. So, you know, they're a little different, but yeah. it's common sense. The other thing that's, that's a fallacy is so many people think you gotta have a round well for bait to live. Not true, all my wells on all my boats are square. Now I round the corners with like a little one or two inch radius, but healthy baits will not fall into a corner and die. A bait that goes into the corner of a square, believe it or not, we even make square bait pens. No one wants to buy them, but I've used them. Jim Mulcahy used them, Ed Cattell used them. A lot of my crew over the years have built square bait pens at the dock and they work fine. We even put dividers in ours. The only bait that gets in the corner is a bait that's not healthy, right? And he just gets in there and he doesn't know what to do and he just and he dies. loses oxygen. Now why is uh, a square pen or a square live well not important? Well, healthy bait, quality water, decent quality of water. The baits will find their own circle. They're almost like a school of mullet, you know? They're gonna form their own boundary of their school and they'll just, you know, like you even see these baits, they're just kind of hanging out. The, the way this spray bar works is it sprays downward and comes up and you'll see a lot of baits just sitting here nosing down. They're basically like trout in a river. They're just gonna kind of swim in one direction and that's how they oxygenate their gills. Not super critical. Now I'm not condemning a round live well, but I'm saying it's not as important as people think it is. I've put tons of bait for weeks and weeks at a time in a square bait pen and it, you know, fishes tournaments. I mean, good quality. So, Perfect. It's yeah. very important to have good, not such a big deal when the bit fish are biting crazy, but when you're trying to scat, scratch one or two bites a yeah. day. Quality bait separates the fleet. Every single time, yeah. and every single the time. The other thing, uh, clear lids on the floor. Um, I've been on several boats where we, you know, a lot of the custom boats, they convert a lazarette or a live well, put a lid on it. Goggle eyes will live in the dark, but thread fin herring, you put a solid lid on there, unless they got a lot of perforations through the bottom of the boat to let light in, stone dead. I don't know what they're doing in there, hitting their heads or what, but I've opened several wells to a bunch of dead thread fins. So. Well, there you have it. Tip of the week. Tip of the week. <laughs> you want to wrap it up? I'd say we're done for the day. And thanks for joining us in the fly zone.